Hi, this is Jack from WebShipper. In this video, we are going to go through the process on how to handle orders that comes in from WebShipper. So now I have WebShipper open on my browser. I'm gonna click on orders, view orders. And you see a list of orders from different channels. They are either from your online store or from marketplaces. You're right. So for this case, I'm gonna pick one of these orders to export it to SQL accounting. Alright, I'm gonna pick this 7430. Click on sync. Add orders for export. Counter system, I'm gonna select SQL and you can either sort it up by period, last seven days, 30 days or 60 days. But for this case, I'm gonna go for that orders 7430 search there we go I'm gonna click this save it All right now that I have the order in my sync list I'm gonna minimize this browser I'm gonna open up the web shipper SQL accounting application that I've just installed click on sync orders import orders now I'm gonna look for the order that I just imported from my online store All right which is this one 7430 All right so before you export it to ask your accounting you can actually choose to export it as a sales invoice cash sales or sales order so for this case I will go for invoice right, thick save order now that I've successfully synced the order to my SQL accounting I'm gonna check on my SQL accounting I'm gonna minimize it open up my SQL accounting let's click on sales invoice uh, now I'm gonna look for the order number which is 7430 and there you go we have the order from online store you can see there is a unit price there is a shipping charges and the address as you can see this application allow you to easily capture the order details accurately hopefully this video gives you a better understanding on how to handle orders from your online store